Hey guys, welcome back to another Black Series video. I hope you're all doing really well. This time we've got the 6 inch uh, online exclusive Admiral Piet. Um, exclusive to any online store that picked him up, I think. Um, I had a pre order set with Entertainment Earth, so he's available there. Uh, I've since cancelled that pre order because I did pick up this figure elsewhere um, from, the, from Hong Kong. Um, it's just a little bit cheaper to get from there um, these days. And they generally have them reasonably early and, you know, it's better better for me to get them early um, rather than wait a long time for the US to get them. So it's a bit of an advantage for me down here in Australia anyway. Um, at least I've found uh, may not be adv advantageous to others, but it is to me at this stage. So that's where I'm going to get my figures from for a while until, you know, something else, something better comes along. Nevertheless, let's talk about this figure. Anyway, we'll have a look at the box. So we all know Admiral Piet. Um, he comes through from Empire Strikes Back into the Return of the Jedi. No number for this one, being an exclusive. A little write-up on Admiral Piet. An ambitious Imperial officer, Piet rose through the ranks to Captain and was assigned to the Super Star Destroyer Executor, Darth Vader's flagship. When Vader strangled Admiral Ozzel, Piet was granted a battlefield promotion to Admiral and given a grisly warning of penalty for failure. So, here he is. Another great Imperial character. That's another good likeness here. I'll just pop off his cap. So like I mentioned with the uh, General Veers, I'm not sure whether the hair is actually accurate to what he looks like under the hat. We don't see them without the hats in the film. Um, but obviously to fit the hat a little better, they, they've obviously made it, given it a pretty simple haircut, um, which is fine. But again, there's sort of new digital tech they're using for, for the face paint apps. Um, I can't speak highly enough of it. General Veers was fantastic. This is another great one. It looks a really good likeness. And yeah, like I said, like I've said a couple of times, one of the best decisions Hasbro's made. Now in terms of the body, um, again, it's a slight retool from the other ones. Um, I did notice from just filming General Veers that the actual like uh, chest area is different. This has got more more buttons on the rank badge. Obviously, is a admiral, um, and then he's got more code cylinders. So, um, trying to think whether Thrawn uh, was any different or Tarkin, but um, I probably should have thought about that beforehand. But still, nice looking uniform. Sort of a nice deep grey. There's a slight hint of green in it, um, ever so slight. I think the uh, Vintage Collection Tarkin that we got a few years ago went a little bit overboard on that green idea um, and didn't really pay off. But uh, this, this looks good. They've done a good job here. Again, pretty standard looking uniform. Black shiny boots, which look great. Silver belt. It's just an overall really tidy figure. Um... Nice one to add to the ranks for the Imperial Shelf. Um, nice to have some officers standing in front of some troopers. We've had plenty of troopers. Um, but yeah, nice to have some officers and some of the some of the faces behind the Empire um, in figure form. So don't really have a lot in the three and three quarter inch scale. Um, I never got the Death Star briefing set, which I'd love to see in six inch. Um, you know, Yularen, Tag, Moddy. Also like to see Joe Jared. Um, there's some more. <laughs> um, I can't remember. Ozzel, obviously, would be another good one. But uh, yeah, another another nice figure. Well done, Hasbro. I'll run through the articulation as I always do. He's got a ball hinge head or neck, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, ball hinge wrists, joint at the torso there for a little bit of wriggle room. Ball hinged at the hips, he's got a swivel joint cut off at the thigh, 
double joints in the knee and ball joints in the ankles. So it's got the same pistol that uh, Veers came with. He doesn't have a holster for it, but that's okay. But another great figure. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be back with some more content very soon, so stay tuned. Hope you're all doing well, and until my next video, may the force be with you guys.